Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about how to remove columns. Uh, so you could remove a specific column or you could remove all the other columns from a data set. And we'll do that in Power Query, so we'll start now. So as you can see, I'm on the Power BI desktop and I'll click on the Transform Data tab. So I'll, I'll just go here and I'll hit Transform Data. And this opens the Power Query Editor for me. And in the Power Query Editor, you can see on the Home tab, it has got two options. Uh, so you can remove columns. So you can remove columns and you can remove other columns. So I'll just duplicate my customer dimension just for this demo. And then we can get rid of it. I just don't want to cancel, sorry. So I'll just duplicate this. And now I can go to any specific column and I can go and right click and say remove. And it will remove this column. So the customer key is gone and it's added a step here of removed column. So I'll just take the step off again and I'll show it to you again. So if when I right click and say remove, there will be a step added on the applied steps on the right hand side. So let's go and remove that. And you can quickly and you can watch that in under applied steps here, there's a step that gets added and this column is no longer available. So when I do remo remove, you can see that the customer key is removed from the dim customer table. And let's say I just want to keep maybe uh, two of these keys and I don't want anything else. So I could select these and I could say remove other columns. So what it does is that it only keeps the selection and removes the other columns. So depending on what you want, you can use this option. It comes very handy. If you just want a limited data set and you want to remove unwanted columns. So in this video, just to recap, uh, we looked at how to remove columns and remove other column options, which are available in the Power Query Editor. And how you access it as you go to the Power BI desktop, you click on the transform data option. It brings you to the Power Query Editor. And on the home tab, you've got this under manage column options, you've got remove columns option. So that's one way, or you could directly highlight the column that you want removed, and then right click and hit remove columns or remove other columns. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers, bye.